Excuse me, please. I knew about Graham's health, but I still needed to find out about his work. Perhaps I'd find more on his... I needed to find out more information if I wanted... To So Graham was a cl I needed to find out who he worked for. If I slipped up, I'd be couldn't access Graham's messages. I added that to my list of things to look into. A chart showing that Graham's kudos score had recently dropped. I wondered what had caused such a sharp decline. I had gathered quite a bit of information about his health and social situation, but I still needed to know exactly what he did for a living. How to survive a war? Better just to not be around to see them. Espionage during the Hobart Wars. Nice to see the propaganda was still around. It looked like one of the land trains from the city walls. It was a detailed model. A uniform like the one Graham's wife wore. It was cut for someone much larger. I needed to find out who he worked for. If I slipped up, I'd be exposed right away. A cavalcade of cryptids. Someone believed in monster stories.
The Droids Who Stare at Goats, a classic. A printer? It was rare. Among the drawings were photographs, land trains, and the city walls. The calendar showed today as a holiday, Aspiration Day. The blind blocked out all the light from outside. The box was for a deluxe hollow plinth replacement lens. There was nothing inside. Here's something for all your hard work. Oh my! Did I do something wrong? It is edible. Now I understand. I cannot, of course, consume this, but I shall happily dispose of it for you, sir. No way. I'll keep hold of it. Very good, sir. Here, a can of spankles. That is most impressive. I suspect Master Graham is most proud of himself. Do you want... Consuming a liquid of this molecular composition would prove fatal, and that would drastically reduce my effectiveness. Let me know if you change... Hello, Chipworth. Hello, Master Graham. I need you to do something. Just say the word, sir. Never mind. Very good, sir. Who was that guy in here? Is sir referring to the gentleman currently probing your wife in the bedroom? Uh, I guess I am. That would be the Honorable Mentor Alonzo, Senior Officer at the Ministry of Wellbeing. I believe that he would like to see you next. He would? Mentor Alonzo indicated that there were one or two anomalies in Master Graham. Public voting, kudos levels, employment, whereabouts within the city. Just some minor things. Consumption patterns, bioscience, indication of physical existence. I think I get... But I'm sure there's a simple answer, Master Graham. As a high-ranking official of the Ministry of Wellbeing, he is here, I am sure, to evaluate the well-being of this household. Well-being? Health, social participation, work fulfillment, the usual, sir. So... Whatever, sir, desires. Can you move the... Sadly, sir, one's capabilities are res... Shame. We are what we... At least as far as anyone else needs to know. I need you to do... Just say the word, sir. Never mind. Very good, sir. I need you to do... Just say the word, sir. Never mind. Very good, sir. Ah. I am. Um, thank you for inquiring. Have us serving. Excuse me, please. Union City Red. I suspected it was more fruit juice than wine. displaying your health chart now. Thank you for consulting on a regular basis. That's all for... Keep a smile on your face. I was a lot healthier than Graham.
This was my only chance to find out about Graham. Leaving now wasn't an option. The council was made up of five ministries. Each ministry had their own logo and distinctive color scheme. From the color of his uniform, it was clear that Graham worked for the Ministry of Comfort. I had learned all I was going to from Graham's apartment. I hoped it would be enough. Excuse me, please. If I was going to convince the mentor, I... I needed to find out more information if I wanted... If I was going to con... I couldn't keep them wait. From that point on, I had to be Graham Grundy, cleaning supervisor. You were going to freshen up. I was, but I missed the sweet sound of your voice. Oh, Graham. Always the romantic. But please don't kiss me until you've showered. Wouldn't dream of it. Besides, I couldn't let Alfonso here, Alonso, monopolize my lovely wife for a moment longer. In which case, shall we begin? Of course. Shall we take a seat in the lounge? It was now or never. So, Mr. Grundy. Mentor Alonso, what would you like to know? Ah, oh, well, straight to the point. I like that. As I was explaining to your dear wife earlier, there have been some... Issues with your activity records of late. Issues? What do you mean? Mr. Grundy, a word to the wise. This will be much smoother if you leave the questions to me. Now, whilst your records load, remind me, in which ministry are you employed? Still with us, Mr. Grundy? Comfort. I'm a cleaning supervisor. Yes, of course. Ah, here we go. Graham Grundy, 42, cleaning supervisor with the Ministry of Comfort. 
Cleaning supervisors require Class C exertive activity certification. I trust that your health rating is sufficient. I did drop down a bit, but I'm back to Class A plus now. Excellent, excellent. Very good. So, with that in mind, I will mark you as fit for work, barring any other issues. Now, obviously, your kudos level will have fluctuated due to your absence. You're a C plus right now. I note you used to be much higher. B. Yes, well, you'll be back up there in no time. Well, that is all I need to check off. But I'd be remiss if I didn't offer you all the extra support and guidance that you need. Mentor? When someone goes off grid, there's usually some underlying trouble. And as a mentor, I like to think of myself as a bit of a troubleshooter. Of course. I appreciate the concern. So, let's get to the bottom of all this confusion. Dig a bit deeper, eh? Deeper? Yes, right. By all means, Mentor. Tell me about your workplace. I trust there are no issues. The land train facility? It's a fine place to work. I'm sure it is. Department of Land Trains and Extra City Commerce. Wonderful. Oh, yes. Couldn't be happier. We are, of course, very grateful for your service, Mr. Grundy. But there we come to the crux of the matter. Your absence. Fifteen days is a, a long time. This is, of course, why my ministry has become involved in your case. We have been concerned for your well-being. I'm fine. Better than ever, in fact. Excellent. Now, speaking of your health, I note you had some surgery last year. Tell me about your implants. Are they working effectively? You mean my heart regulators? Nothing to worry about. As you can see, the beat goes on. Yes. Well, I must say you're in remarkable shape considering your medical history. Of course, your mental well-being is just as important to us. How are you getting on with your <laughs> rather peculiar hobbies? You mean my photography? I do, yes. You can't beat the feeling of an old-time film camera. I can imagine. You have an eye for composition. Although I don't understand your interest in using such archaic technology. Choosing to fiddle with knobs rather than availing of ministry-recommended filters, stabilization, automatic archive, and data retrieval, all courtesy of mine. If we can't see what you create, how can we share in your interests? What can I say? I like a challenge. I'm sure you do, Graham. Ah, well. I have a busy day of appointments, so sadly we must conclude our little trap there. It's been a pleasure, Mentor. <laughs> Hasn't it? So with that in mind, perhaps you can tell me where you've been for the last two weeks. What? Right. Yes, where have I been the last two weeks? Well... Okay, so... The last two weeks. I was working at the land train facility, of course. Cleaning. I'm a cleaning supervisor. And while I was cleaning, I must have... bumped my head. The next thing I knew, I was in the middle of nowhere. Still on the train. Two weeks later, the train returned to the city. Cleaner than it's ever been, I might add. My poor darling! How awful! What a dreadful thing to happen! I believe I have all the answers I need from you. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> I'm sure it is, Mr. Grundy. Well, thank you for stopping by. 
Uh, j just a teeny tiny thing before I go. There appears to be one or two anomalous results here. Anomalous? That doesn't sound good. <laughs> it may be nothing. But here's the thing. I get strange readings when I scan your U-chip. Any idea why? Maybe it got damaged when I fell. Ah, yes. Of course. That's probably it. You see, the only other time I've seen anything like this is when a U-chip has been tampered with. No one would have done that now, would they? Tampered with? I didn't even know that you could do that. Graham's a supervisor, not a subversive mentor. Yes, a supervisor, not a subversive. Damaged when he fell. Request analysis. There, perfect. I have everything I need. Great. Chipbot will show you out. Chipworth, darling? <laughs> Just my little joke. Chipworth. Good day, Mr. and Mrs. Grundy. I don't know who you are, or what you've done with Graham, but I think we got away with that. I hope so. I don't think that we would get away with it a second time. Nor do I. If there is anything wrong with Graham's U-chip, you would better sort it out sharpish, before Alonzo's analysis comes back. Who even are you? Where's Graham? Are you that contact he kept ranting about? Whatever Graham had been up to, it had gotten him killed. I had to come clean with his wife. There's no easy way to say this, but I'm afraid Graham is dead. What? How? Where? I found him. In the Gap. The Gap? What was the idiot doing in the Gap? Was that where he was always sneaking off to? Ugh. A child, Milo, was abducted from a village out there and brought into Union City. And I think Graham was somehow connected. Sure, and pigs fly. Listen, stranger, I'm sure you can understand this has been a rather harrowing day. This is all too much for me right now. Tell me about it. So I'm gonna do some damage control on social media. In the meantime, I guess that officially it is your home, so you can stay, but this is my bedroom and that one is yours. No cute ideas. Understood. Songbird seemed rattled by the news. Not surprising. But whoever this contact of Graham's was, I suspected they were the key to finding Milo. 